Hi, I'm Jason Park, owner of the Greek Corner Screen Printing and Embroidery. Let's face it, there are a lot of places you can purchase custom screen printed t-shirts. So why should you buy t-shirts for your school, church, or group from the Greek Corner? First, it's easy to work with our professional staff. We have competitive rates, we don't charge for your artwork, and we've never missed a deadline. Did I mention that we make ordering t-shirts easy? To get started on your order, call us today or visit our website at greekcornerprinting.com. At the Greek Corner Screen Printing and Embroidery, we make ordering t-shirts easy. Thank you. So why Springfield? I get asked that a lot, and I choose to live here because Springfield is a place that I can enjoy the life I want. I love the outdoors. I can be on the lake in just a short drive. It only takes me 10 minutes to get to work. Or off to anywhere in the world. I know my kids will be safe and well-educated. There are really good job opportunities after graduation. I'm able to work remotely and create on a high level. The healthcare options in this area are incredible. The options for housing and cost of living are so affordable. We have room to create. I love to experience the excitement of sports. Can't beat the food. Or the drinks. Why Springfield? Because all the pieces you need to create your own story are here. The only thing missing is you. And live from Jordan Valley Ice Park, Stan Melton Ice Arena, it is the fourth annual Police versus Fire Charity Hockey Game, Guns versus Hoses. Hello, everybody. Steve Casson along with Scott Lutzke on graphics and our cameraman, Eric Papuga, along with colormen's John Stowe of the police and Brian Fick of the fire department. Thanks for joining us here as you see the players getting ready to get out onto the ice. and. Let's bring in both John and Brian. And guys, this is the fourth annual game. Now, back in 2019, a 6-3 fire win. Back in 2020, a 7-3 fire win. No game in 2021. But in 2022, 10-3, a fire win. OK, so I, I need to start immediately with you, John. Uh, yeah. Who's going to win it today? Well, the part of the reason that they've got three wins is they bring some ringers down from the league above them. So. I mean, it is what it is. During the normal <laughs> during the normal season, we beat them. So what he's trying to say is fire. Yeah. No. No. At least we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna win this time. Yeah. So we got a we got a hot guy on there, Jimmy Ramsey, and uh, he's a good one. Jimmy so. had a hat trick last year, if I recall. He what? I believe Jimmy had a hat trick last year, yeah. if I recall. Yeah. You're talking about Jimmy Ramsey, who's an officer patrol officer there in Springfield, originally from St. Louis, so he's got the St. Louis Oh yeah, yeah, he's a big right? blues guy, and uh, Jim, Jimmy worked for me uh, 
for about three years last last three years. He's a good good guy. Now, John, you spent 24 years at PD. 21. 21. Okay. Yeah. And Brian, you're a rescue specialist, right? Yes, sir. Uh, rescue specialist uh, with uh, Joel Greasehaber and Jeff Elliott are uh, on the same rig I am. So watch those two. Joel Greasehaber, real good skater, real good hockey player from St. Louis, also. Now. Is of all the sports, I mean, you guys could play football, you could play basketball. Is hockey really kind of the go-to sport for for both of the departments? I think so. I mean, it's, it's got a lot of action, it's got a lot of cardio, it's got a lot of hitting, uh, it takes some skill. So that's right up our alley. I would agree. Uh, with everything he just said, gets us out here, gets us cardio, gets us uh, a little bit of aggression out, I guess, if yeah, you will. Yeah. Let's head on down to the public address announcer and Tim Greasy as we have some on ice festivities and some announcements of the starting lineups, too. Or not. Well, Tim was just talking a second ago, so you can. Uh, I think we're going to do the, the uh, pipes and drums, or minus the drums tonight. So uh, if we look, fire goalie Dan yep. Zacker is going to be playing some bagpipes for us. Oh, there okay. you go. Uh, along with Captain Graf as well. I believe they're going to walk the colors in also. Yeah, we got a combined color guard, I believe. We do. I think we got two officer, two PD, two fire. Yeah. Represent the Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we would invite you to please rise and remove your hats for the presentation of colors by the Springfield Police Department and Springfield Fire Department Joint Honor Guard. And playing our national anthem presented by Southern Missouri Professional Firefighters Local 152 Pipes and Drums Corps. There we go, Dan Zacker on the back. I'll tell you what, the national anthem is always fantastic whenever you have live music, no matter what it is. Now, here's the thing. You, you just had, 
Dan Zacker do that. Yes, sir. That takes a lot of breath to do that. A lot. He is a uh, well practiced at it, I will say. Uh, part of the Pipes and Drums Corps here for uh, Local 152. Plays funerals all over the country for that, so he'll be fine. Now we have the ceremonial puck Taking drop Taking the here. Ceremon ceremonial puck drops are the two team captains we got Scott for Hill the and Jeff police Elliott, hockey though. team captain, Scott Hill. So I worked with Scott for, for a long time. For the fire hockey team, Captain Jeff Elliott. And I worked with Jeff Elliott for about two and a half years. Uh, you'll hear me refer to Jeff Elliott as Papa tonight. Okay. And I'll probably call him Doc because he was my <laughs> corpsman in the Marine Corps Reserves. Yep. Man of many nicknames. Oh, yeah. Fancy ceremonial puck drop today was by Landon Brandhorst. Now, Landon is the son of fallen firefighter Dustin Brandhorst of the Ebenezer Fire Protection District. Firefighter Brandhorst was involved in a vehicle crash while responding to a fire on March 18th, 2022. This charity does a really a lot of good things for these families, and it's nice to, to see this Brand much Horse community support. To the family, we thank you for the service of Dustin, the service he provided to the citizens of Greene County. Thank you. And that's one uh, thing we will talk about during this broadcast is just exactly what the 100 Club is and, and uh, all that goes into not only having that, but generally when you have a member of that club, you, you really don't want to. No, no, it is no. not a club you want to be a part of. No. Yeah, that's a situation where, and I know they talk about the brotherhood, and and that's literally what it is. If I mean, I know you guys have probably done this in your careers, where if all of a sudden you hear something's happened to one of your brothers, you, you drop everything. Right. It doesn't matter. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. Uh, yes, sir. And that goes from both sides. We're gonna have a lot of jokes today between fire oh, yeah. and police same as our brothers just as much as you know so it's we think of the police just as much as our brothers they're out there doing a service for us in the fire department as well well the so one we're thing. very appreciative of them as much as whatever we're going to say tonight yeah absolutely the one thing that firefighters and cops have in common is they both want to be firefighters exactly <laughs> i was going to come on here and just tell all your jokes for you but yeah <laughs> Uh, it's true. We will admit it. Yes. It is a loud one here, I'll tell you. You guys almost sold out. Pretty much sold out from what I heard. It is absolutely. All right. There so it goes. police are the home and fire are the visitor for this game. And it's uh, quickly police with possession, but taken away by Springfield Fire. And it's sent all the way down. Zach Keller will chase. But it's intercepted, though, briefly. Uh, number 12 there. Ben Houston. Ben Houston. Yeah, he to Easter out in front. Oh, you want to do some play-by-play? -play? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I just like to talk. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I know these guys real good, this line. Well, yeah. there'll be a lot to talk about for sure. <laughs> well, where were you last weekend? <laughs> yeah. I, I lost my voice last week, and I really needed oh, you. Oh, oh man. Down. And I'm not a talker. <laughs> no. I'll give you my phone number. You can call me. <laughs> Here's Zach Keller. He got a shot that sent all the way down, stopped by the goaltender. It looks like... Dan Zacker is in net. They told us Tim Shaw. You, you, someone told us Tim Shaw. I believe he is a goalie as well. Uh, yeah, I see him over there. Yeah. So Zach, uh, Dan Zacker is actually the one in nets tonight. That's who we have. Yeah. I, all right. Here some comes some guy standing next to me told me the wrong goaltender. <laughs> it's all, it's all good though. Have we had any shots on goal yet? We don't. No. no not, yet. not one, but maybe one here with Grease has the puck. Here's Grease Shaber with it. Passes out in front and a good deflection by the defense. Doesn't Ooh. look like they're keeping those. So oh, the other people. way. Getting Where's, tripped in front of this Where's friend. the penalty? Where's the penalty? Or no, that's Adcock. Nope, that yep. is yep. Wes Adcock, number 22. He is fast. I saw the long hair and I uh, just assumed yeah. it was. Uh, Wes is, he's a bullet. Same with Grease right here, number 17, who just dumped the puck into the boards. And it's sent back in, fire with an interception. I brought some glasses in case the referee needs some uh, glasses to <laughs> needs look a at little help. Yeah. yeah, the officials for tonight's game, Ryan Armstrong and Mike Hartman. There's, There's a the shot first on goal. Shot of the game. All right, that was Jeff Steve. Steve. Number 10, JT Linquist. There he is, Linquist, an equipment operator, originally out of St. Louis. Oh, what a good poke nice check good by Wilson. Wilson. 
Brian Wilson is the goaltender. Now, he was a fireman in Lake of the Ozarks, but he's now with Mercy, and so he still gets to play on the team, right? Yes. Puck is kicked out the center. Come on, there we go. Grabbed by Justin Nelson. Gets it just as far as the line. He's got to come back and set it up again. All stolen by PD. They bring it in All right. off of the stick nice. of Jordan Lounderbaugh. We come the other way. Great. Here's Keller. Juicy with oh. a shot on goal. It's deflected into the corner. 13-13 to go in this period. Fire with a line change. Oh, a shot comes out in front. The rebound. Oh, oh what a save. That was a good that was save. A great right there. save. Wilson with an unbelievable nice. save in front. And it keeps it 0 0. Now another shot in. They score. This one comes off great the man. stick. Let's see who it is. It might be a number we don't have. It might be. I believe it was number 16. Let's check the replay. Keep yeah. going. Go. We'll take a look at the replay here and see who got that. It's a single number. Is it four, Nielsen? Four was Nielsen that shot it, but I'm not sure. If... We'll hear the announcement on who scored, but I right. think it might be Nielsen. There goes Cisneros. Oh, nope, that was Merklin. Houston's going to bring it down here. Hill's going to block it. Almost went over the glass. And here comes Jimmy Ramsey. Come on, Jimmy. He is fast. You are he right. Is. He separated his shoulder last year Fire coming into the goal. Scored coming into the goal. Four. Yeah. Mock three. Assisted by 16. I believe it. And 91. Fire department goal. One to nothing. Four from 16 to 91. Here comes Jimmy again. There it is. Come on, Pizek. Caleb Elliott walked that one. Oh. Zachary with the save. That was a good shot on goal. Yeah, here's Kaylee Friend. She's a patrol sergeant overnight. I'll just let you guys we have the, uh, take over. <laughs> we have the father-son combo on defense right now. Caleb Elliott and Papa playing defense. Oh, boy. Here we go. Who we got? PD Steele. Ryan Pizak. Perfect Pizak. opportunity. Oh, good block. Caleb goes down in front of it. Elliott with a great block in front. Buck is kicked out to center. So the goal oh, is. Oh, 17 grease. He has an opportunity. Oh, 17 score. goes up with a oh. grease with the goal. Uh, oh, if the funny. cops want to, oh, they took their sign down. Grease's daughter had a sign that said, uh, even cops need heroes, and my dad is oh. going to be that tonight. Yeah. So, yeah. The boys want to see that later, ask. Well, he had a great chance to score, and he hits the pipe. Oh, I thought that went in. I thought that went in. Oh, I did, too. That was a good shot. But they say play on, Scott. Okay. okay. I think it hit the top of the uh, goal. Do we have that one, Scott? Yes, we do. Here's a stoppage. Let's let's take a look at that. I, I thought it was in. I'm marking I, it on my score sheet. And the ref was at the back. He said no good. Yeah, he picks it up in the neutral zone and skates right in hard. Deeks the goaltender. Oh, hit oh. The pipe. oh. he did. He wow. hit the post. Right in front. So the officials are correct on this one. No goal. We're still 1-1. We do have the information on the first goal. We'll get it to you in a second. All right. Adams and Cisneros down for defense. I really thought it was just going to be both of you guys jibber and jabbing with each other, not calling oh. play by play. But oh. hey, <laughs> we can do both, I guess. <laughs> More power. <laughs> So the first goal is indeed Nielsen's goal, hit, and then Miller and Keller with the assists. Is there going to be a hose dragon competition at halftime <laughs> or uh, anything like that? Well, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> I guess we can try. Some Xbox competitions. I mean, yeah. that's, that's pretty much uh, day to day, right? Yeah. You've already said it. A little bit of a <laughs> City of Springfield trivia here is uh, how many cops have been become firefighters? I was going to ask that question. Uh, the answer is 
four. Is it four? How many firefighters have become cops? Mm, yeah. That answer's zero. Well, does that include <laughs> fire marshals? Well, they're just, <laughs> yeah, firemen with guns. <laughs> but one of them is a former cop. That is true. Fire Marshal Phillips, shout out. Yes. So I need to ask this as we get a stoppage and play here. We know that the fire department schedule is like a 24 on and, and so many uh, hours off. 24 on, 48 off. So on a full day, off two full days. What is it for PD? Well, firemen sleep until they're hungry and then they eat until they're sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And in between, they wash their fire trucks. It's real but, hard to see the jealousy that's but, coming right now. So, but, so no, firemen or uh, policemen, <laughs> we're, we're on 12 hour shifts. So uh, they kind of rotate. So it's 12 on, 12 off. So in general, police work more than fire. Well, uh, the water <laughs> the water does all the work. I mean, it's if magic. You're a, if it's you're a magic. fireman, it's, yeah. the water does all the work. All the work, none of the credit. Right. See now 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 we're getting going. The ribbon yeah. is going good. Yeah, <laughs> now and now we're going. <laughs> Still one nothing here. So so earlier on I was thinking that uh, the safest place to be <laughs> right now in Springfield is probably Jordan Valley Ice Park. Probably. Except probably for the ice. Yeah. But with you two in the booth here, I'm starting <laughs> to question that. <laughs> no, still a safe place here at Jordan Valley tonight. Wait. Is Springfield safe if everyone's here? <laughs> Out of, yes. That looks like goalie yeah. interference. I think we, do we are have it. it. Yeah, we yes we do. So the first penalty of the game will be assessed. Mike Hartman says it's interference. As you can see, Grieshaber coming in, and oh, he just gives a little extra to the goaltender, so he's going to go in for the fire. So the first power play. Oh, all right. Grease is just trying to ah, good. level out the playing field here right now. we got somebody in the box. <laughs> So Grease Shaver will go. All right, nice little power play. Is a firefighter. So who's, who's got a better power play? Well, I mean, I think that's obvious. We're about to find out. Here's Adcock looking in front to Compton. Oh, oh. All right. nice save by Zachary there. I'll give it to him, that was a good save. This is a packed house. Now, it is. I need to know, are there any fire marshals here? Because this is pretty packed. I don't know if there is or not, to be honest with you. Where's Phillips at? I need to talk to him. He's supposed to be here tonight, but it's his yeah. brother's birthday. Drive in. That's the that's way. Is Dodge shot. got that? Phil Dodge. Phil Dodge. That's a delayed offside. The PD clear the zone. Speaking of PD, we know there's been cops and there's been live PD. Has there been any fire department live <laughs> stuff? Oh, uh, there has. Ever, I'm pretty sure. Have but. you ever seen a Lazy Boy commercial? Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> We're going to hear a lot of Lazy Boy jokes and <laughs> Xbox jokes tonight. A lot of cooking show jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's safe to say that you got, most of everybody knows everybody, right? Yeah, For the I, most part, yeah. yeah. You get to know the guys that are oh, on Oh, here's Dodge. Oh. He shoots. Good save. Oh. We do get to work with Oh, here's a great Keller in on the 91 Juicy! Oh. Juicy! The juice is loose right there, boys. I don't know if you saw that. That's probably one of those guys that brought in from the upper league, isn't it? I don't know if he is or not, but <laughs> it counts the same. It does. 7.43, the time of the goal, and Keller will get it. Zach, the firefighter, originally from Bolivar, Missouri. He is on station number four, and he gets the goal. On the pass. Short-handed goal. Yeah, it is a short-handed short goal. goal. Yep. For the fire department, scored by number 91, assisted by 10 and 39. For the fire department, 91. Oh, here it comes. Breakaway for PD. Here comes Merkling. Oh. 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 So the follow-up in front hit the sliding Andy Marriage, and it stayed out. Oh, I think we got some ice. Yeah, maybe. So Trevor Merkling got the follow-up shot. 
I'm surprised he's wearing long sleeve shirts. That guy will wear short sleeve <laughs> shirts when it's two degrees outside. And I mean, he's got some big guns, so I guess he likes to show them off. Both teams full strength. Thank you for that, Scott. As I'm getting the assists here, they're only giving numbers, which uh, interesting. See, I don't know if, if the police are smarter or if we're slower, but we had to put the names on the back of our jersey. So, <laughs> take, so that, it, take that for what it is. It's Keller shorthanded from Lindquist and Elliott. And that Elliott that is Jeff Elliott. <laughs> Jeff, of course, my contact. Yes, uh, the head of the fire department, captain of the fire department hockey team. Okay, we got a stoppage play. So I have to ask you guys. I'm sure you've watched uh, the, the, the NBC shows, the, the fire one, and then the police one, right? You guys, have you had a chance to watch any of those? I, I don't watch fire shows. I'm just out of principle. Oh, uh, he watches. You watch, you watch the police show. Oh, he watches them. Okay, so the question is. and dreams of a young man. Is everything that goes on, in the, is, is that realistic, or is that oh. just total TV? It's TV. <laughs> yes, yeah. complete TV. Yeah, but they don't solve major crimes in 40 minutes. No. So it just doesn't happen. And they don't fight fire where they can see ever. Right. Has there been anything that's been realistic? If it shows them washing their fire trucks, that's real. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Eating they, dinner, they, that's probably real, that's right? Like, that's like a full week-long class in their fire academies, how to wash and wax the truck. Oh, give it credit. It's longer than a week. Well, it's it's got to be washed right. Oh, well, yeah, it is a big <laughs> truck. They use it to block, uh, block the roads a lot, too. Isn't all the love drama that goes on, isn't that realistic? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, no drama. So, you know, cops have ride-alongs. Do firemen have sleepovers? Huh? That would be a great idea. <laughs> that's really? A, that's What if we had cop sleepovers? Like I We'd said. We'd probably have more than four of them. This was going to be the most dangerous place in this <laughs> rink. <Yep. laughs> oh, PD Steve. Oh! oh! Save. Jeff Steve on an attempt. Steve got a great shot up top and a... Good deflection there by goes Steve. Oh. Steve had another chance in front. Two weeks ago, Jeff had two two or three goals. They're, they're normal lead. Is uh, Pizak playing for PD tonight? Yeah, he's number he 37. Is. So that is a man that raised his son very correctly. His son Tanner Pizak, firefighter at Station 1. So, <laughs> so he's a quartermaster. What is a quartermaster? So he's basically responsible for supplies, vehicles, anything that goes wrong with that, radios. All that, all the equipment that we use. He uh, maintains it, orders it, issues it out. That sounds like a fun job. It would be a fun job. <laughs> Here they come again, PD. Here's Reese with an attempt. Good deflection. Swiped away from Baby Elliot there. Caleb, his friend with a drive, it's blocked. Going Off back up to Grease. Grease Shaber. Okay, well, we need to issue him a speeding ticket. He's going way <laughs> Two too on fast. One. Oh, oh, the pass came through and out to that's number a, 90 there. That was a big miss. Devin Keeney. Keeney, DK. Keeney, yep. Linquist is going to take it behind the net. Their pass over to Grishaber again. There good, go. good steal Come in on. front. Ramsey right, stole. Here comes Ramsey. Great from Ramsey. Uh, they, need to, they need to get. Oh, he gets through three PD oh. and a drive off. Look at that. Or excuse me, he got through three fire. Defense and he got a drive. Kind of ganging up on him. I don't think that's very fair. Box sent down. So I see a lot of people wearing specific fire and PD jerseys. Is that the hot seller now? Well, that's the spouses or children of. Oh, so they're the not for sale. Like you just can't go buy one. I do not. Uh, well, I can't speak for that. So we're going to get a penalty. This one's going to be an interference calls. Ramsey gets pulled down. There you go. Linquist isn't happy about that. Thought he took a dive. What is probably yeah. going to have to agree. We'll, we'll, take, well, let's take, we'll take a look at it here. <laughs> I don't. No, I don't no. think that that was a dive. I really think that he was pulled down. Look at that. Oh, look Don't. at that. Oh, just oh. a little, that's a little that's bump. Friendly oh love tap between PD and fire there. Yeah, yeah. Get in the box. <laughs> Stay in well, the box. Oh, he went there. There's no argument. <laughs> what was the call on that? Was I that tripping? Know. I, I don't know if it's, I believe it's tripping, yes. The fire department penalty goes to number 10, two minutes for holding. Holding. Or holding. 10, two minutes holding for the fire department. Oh, oh good that shot, shot on the What in the world? That, oh, I'll tell you what. 
Need to give this ref some glasses. Oh, another penalty coming up. And this goes against the fire. Okay. There you go. A high stick. There you go. Get in the box. Get so in the box. We're going to get number four, Justin Nielsen. Nielsen go, is go keep go. your little friend company. <laughs> Maybe they got two Barca loungers in there. They can stretch <laughs> out and take a nap. You think they put those in the penalty they box probably, for us to make probably, us go at home? They probably would. Yeah. They'll get you an Xbox. Oh. Real nice. You guys could come join us in there. <laughs> we'll share a penalty box. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. I drive by a police station, and I don't see a basketball court. Yeah, I don't see a volleyball court. Zero fun zone. But I, I go by a fire department, and uh, I see all of that. Yeah. Well, because we're first responders, and they're second responders. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Because they can't go to the scene until it's safe. Yeah, we, I, we do need our, uh, our PD help to make sure it's safe for us. All right. So now we have a two-man advantage. Cisneros, Cisneros. Going to drive, and he missed. Cisneros, he works for he worked with me for three years. Good cop. So this is the There's Compton trying to get it. This is a good ad advantage now for PD. Oh, the pass comes out to the corner and cleared. This is narrows to chase. 44 seconds left in the two-man advantage. All right, Scott Hill come back in for Adams. Here comes Ramsey. Good save. Another good save by Zacher. Yeah, it was a good save, but that was a good shot on goal too by Ramsey. Yes. All of the above. Yeah, that would have hurt catching that. Okay, what I need to know, who throws the best birthday parties between PD and fire? Well, that's easy, it'd be fire. Yeah. Because they practice cooking, they practice eating, I yeah. mean, all of it. See, once again, <laughs> it's real hard to see the jealousy, but I feel like you can hear it in his voice. <laughs> real hard to see it, but you can hear it. It's so far, it's strange. It's been PD with a lot of the pressure, but they go offside here. Yeah. All right, who has the best uniforms? Oh, once again, fire. Oh, oh seriously? <laughs> once again, they, they look fire. like they're wearing scrubs. I mean, come one. on. Come comfort. on. Comfort. Comfort. No. Oh. You guys got to wear those fancy button up shirts everywhere you go. No. Now one man's out. We get 14 seconds left in power play number three. The place clearly came in off sides on this one, but uh, to no avail. There's a high oh. stick. Yep, puck play with a high stick. That was a very high stick, so we'll bring it back down. With three seconds left in the power play, 43 seconds left in the period. This has been a fun and fast period. So, yeah, we're already through it. Now, I hear, and for folks that are interested, I hear that there is at least for, oh, we get a oh, stoppage in play hey, here. That was a good stop. At least for PD, there is no age limit. Or is it fire that has no age limit? No, it's. I don't think either of them. I, do. Yeah. Either? Yeah, I not, don't with think so either. not with the loggers, logger system. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, you know, you got to be 18, I think, for both to get 21 hired. for and for fire or so for police. So, is the bottom line for, or for fire? Is the bottom line you just kind of have to be fit enough to pass the test and you're good to go? Yeah, and you got an interview process and things like that, background checks. For PD, you got to have a certain amount of college credit or military background to, yeah, to make I, it. I think we're kind of the same. You either have to have certain certifications, some college or military. Okay. Service. So what I want to know is one of those tests who can eat the most donuts? <laughs> I mean, we know who wins that test <laughs> every day. <laughs> oh, goal off the face off there. Oh. I think that was number 12. Oh, that ben was. Houston with the score. That was Ben Houston right off the draw. See, you know, you jinxed us with that donut joke. <laughs> we'll take a look at this one here. It's right off the draw. 
And Houston just oh, so snaps Steve Houston it. goes quick right with it. Off the draw, he snapped it through. And it, unbelievable. Brian Wilson couldn't believe that one in. Fire department goal is scored by number 12, unassisted. The quick goal off the face off. Unassisted, un unassisted for yep, number 12. It's unassisted, so. That'd be the first thing a fireman did unassisted. <laughs> 13.40 the time of the goal. <laughs> well, I give credit where credit's due. That's another good one. I like it. <laughs> the, the visitors. Time now to remind you to visit our concession stands for snacks They have a 3-0 lead. We'll go over the goals for you here. Nielsen at 642, Miller and Keller, it's 1-0 prior. Shorthanded Keller from Lindquist and Elliott. That one is Jeff Elliott, it's 2-0. Houston gets a goal unassisted at 1340, and it's 3-0 right now. They didn't keep shots, and we don't know shots. I have shots as uh, 12 for the police department and 14 for the fire department. Okay, so 14 on the police, 12 on the fire. Well, way to keep score of the shots. I appreciate that very much. So this first period, we will have a ice cut. And while we're waiting for our... While we're waiting for our first, now I know why I don't use that headset anymore. <laughs> I figured it out. So, yeah, just watch out. That's a little, little, uh, little squirrely there. But uh, we'll, we should, and one of you guys may have to give up one of your headsets here, have a, have a uh, special guest for the intermission. But until then, let's talk about the uh, 100 Club. So, uh, obviously, we talked about that. You don't want to be a part of that, Absolutely but not. it's there for a specific reason. Yes, it is. Uh, benefits the families of fallen fire, fire, fallen firefighters or police officers in the area. Uh, like you said, not a club that we're wanting to join. But you can see how much community support we have. Just yeah. by, I mean, it's a packed house in here, mm -hmm. and uh, all this money goes to that fund. Yes, which is exceptional. And there have been some recent situations where uh, firefighters and police officers recently have yes, sir. have been uh, off the job for, for a reason that they didn't expect. Right. And yes. it's tough on families, too. Absolutely. Yes. It's um, one of those things that you kind of know in the back of your mind that it's a possibility that could happen. You just don't think you just go through your training and uh, you rely on each other to take care of each other and just hope and pray that it doesn't happen to you and just do your job. <coughs> So let's get a little personal if we can. John, what made you want to get into the police department? I just wanted to do something that I could, you know, just serve others. And uh, it's just something that, that has drawn me. And uh, whenever I applied the fire department, you had to have your firefighter one and two before you could even apply. This was 22, 23 years ago. And uh, the police department was like, you've been in the military, come join us. So uh, that's what I did. And how about you, Brian? Uh, kind of the same thing. Um, from high school, I knew I never probably would be cut out for an, a typical office job. So my uncle was a fireman. I had the interest to serve a community in a capacity such as PD or fire. With an uncle who was a fireman, I chose the fire route. I worked a couple different other departments before I came to work for Springfield. But as I'm sure we can see, the, the commonalities of fire and PD and why we want to do this are all the same. You know, we want to serve the communities that we're around and help them out the best you want, we can. You want to help the people that can't help themselves. Yes, I mean, exactly. Firemen are helping people that can't help themselves during a house fire yep. or medical emergency. And if there's some kind of other emergency that we need to be in responding to, mm -hmm. then we're there to help them out. So I want to kind of get in depth again as we're waiting to hopefully have a special guest with us, but, and either one can answer first. So tell us the funniest or craziest or funnest situation you've been in, and then maybe 
the craziest on the opposite side of this is way too crazy for me. Mm. <laughs> I mean, a fire station is a, it's all joking aside, it's fun. We're there, we're living full time, you know, with dependent upon the station, three to nine other individuals for 24 hours. So it's a, it's a fun time. They become your family. We learn about it, learn about each other, everything like that. So um, that is, for me, probably the most fun times in the fire department are around our kitchen table. Just kind of people, older guys, you know, discussing calls and things like that. And we're just learning from them, and it's a great time. So that, I think, is the most fun part of the job, you know, is that kitchen table talk. Every night, every morning, we sit around the kitchen table and just talk about our days off, things like that. And That's kind of the same with us. Is, is probably the most enjoyable memories I have is sitting around the briefing room after the end of the shift and just talking to the guys about what we did that night and what we could have done better and what we got going yep. on this weekend and how the families are doing. Yes. And, uh, just the family uh, togetherness that we have. Yeah, I'm sure I, I know on the fire side and uh, know on the police side, we're extremely vested in each other's families. Uh, you have a good couple days off. What'd you do? How are the kids? Things like that. Well, I mentioned it that uh, we were going to have a special guest, and we do. We have Aaron Brandhorse with us. And Aaron, first of all, how are you doing? There we go. Let's get it right in front of you. We're doing okay. Um, this obviously is a, a situation where uh, you wish that this wasn't for you in, in a sense. So, uh, what what are your feelings? What are you going through? What what happens when you have a situation like this? I mean, obviously something you're not prepared for. You didn't right. expect to happen. Uh, Take us through the mind of somebody that had to experience this. What did you have to do? It's hard. I mean, day by day, you have to prepare yourself to just, as a mom, to just take care of your kids and keep going. That's probably been the hardest part. Yeah, yeah. He said, hold on. Obviously, the, uh, the police and the fire community, they're one big group. I'm sure you've had a lot of help from everybody. Yeah, I have. The community's really been great. The fire department you know, has just stood by us through all of it. And we couldn't have asked for anything better in as terrible of a situation as it is. You get a lot of support, I'm sure, from friends and, and everybody else. Yeah. And, and you, you probably are not tired of it. I mean, at this point, you're just lucky to have. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, all, we still welcome all of the support we needed. You know, we're almost at one year. And you have days that are really good, and you have days that are horrible. And you really rely on that support. What can you say to somebody that either is going through this, or maybe they have someone, and you never know. They might have to go through a situation where they lose a spouse. I would say it's okay to feel every emotion and feel them when they hit you. You know, there's no right way to process it, especially if the death is sudden. And the stages of grief are all over the place, and they repeat repeatedly. <laughs> Guys, I know you're, you're here. Do you want to add anything? I mean, no, this is, I mean, I'll be honest, extremely difficult for me. So this is my worst fear, just to be honest with you. Is right. I have a child. I have a wife. And I mean, I try not to cry. Like, my worst fear. You're not alone on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 100% <laughs> It's my it's worst one of those fear. things you never you hope it never happens to yes. you but if and when it does then you know that we're going to step up and we're going to help and we're going to support right. yeah and I mean, we will be there for them all the time as we were just talking about it's a family and yeah. and tough times family come together you know and absolutely so hopefully a time that we don't want to do you know so and then like, i go back to looking around this arena and you see all these people and all these people are here for you and for here for every family Right. It's been affected by something like this. Yes. Like yeah. You know, and that's when 100 Club stepped in and helped out. You know, we couldn't have done it without them. We really couldn't have. And it, I feel, I mean, it is a charity that is obviously out there in our community, and they're 
out there doing things, but it can't get its praises sung enough of what no. what they do and what they provide. For well, and people. I mean, I'm, I was 33. Dustin was 35 when he passed. You know that death could happen, but you're not prepared. You know, at, no, we, in your 30s, you don't yeah. have your funeral lined up. You don't have everything ready to go for your kids if something was to happen so I would say that's probably the biggest thing I can say is even if you're young get prepared just in case because it is it's a very long road yes and like you said we're not it's something what we try to not you don't want to prepare for no like obviously for the obvious so you know I mean with us Dustin came home every night until the night he didn't and you just get comfortable with they're gonna come home Right. And you can't sit around thinking about this might be the night because that's, no. that's not a way to live. No, right? it's not a way to live at no, all. No, and that's, yeah, completely not healthy. So, I said this one's very hard for me to have you. Well, and, you know, I'm looking around and I'm seeing so many faces that were at the funeral. Yeah, I mean. You know, and I'm not going to lie, when the bagpipe started, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. This, yeah. Is, yeah. this uh, so is hard. I play for the pipes and drums as well, and. I'll be honest with you. I cry every time we leave because I can't handle it emotionally yeah. of the what ifs and everything that you're seeing take place. It's emotional. It is. And and it's kind of triggering because you're at the funeral, you go through all of it and your you know, your final farewell is two pipes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you yep. know. And so that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I well, can't you have even a huge, imagine. You have a huge family on the fire side and police side that is there for you. So it can always will be. We feel it. You know, we feel the love. And, I, you know, I hope that nobody has to go through this. I mean, we all hope the same thing. Yeah. And the sad reality is, is that's it's not It's always rea- a possibility. It's not yeah. reality, you know, on both sides of the fence. Like we talked about, we all joke around and jab each other here and there, but... It's a reality for both sides. Yeah, I mean, with this being a charity event for 100 Club, you know, I hope nobody has to go through it, but I hope that enough money is raised that if it does happen, that somebody else's family will be taken care of. Absolutely, yes. You know, because I think they met with me maybe two days after he passed, and my world was just a wreck and a blur, and I had no idea what was going on. I didn't know how I was buying groceries and how I was just doing the basics. Right. You know. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so it was very needed. Mm-hmm. You know, and it wasn't a big to do. It was just we want to help you, and and they did. Has this been the first time in a while that you've? Uh, and, I, and I know it's it's involves this situation with your husband. But has this been the first time you in a while that you've been able to just kind of forget everything for a bit? Probably. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the last couple weeks, we've just been busy preparing for March 18th, which is one year. And we have a, like a Facebook thing set up to do random acts of kindness in Dustin's honor. And, you know, the goal is 27 random acts of kindness in March because he had number 27. And he was the first person out there to help anybody. So we've been working on that. Well, I appreciate you joining us here today. And I know that... It, it's a tough situation. Uh, you'd rather be here as a spectator than yeah. than have a, a reason to be here. So, uh, and like like those guys said, you, you have a big family, and, and you know there, there's there's anybody that you can call and talk to, and, and they'll be there for you. So. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks again so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Aaron Brandhorse, one of the reasons that we're doing this here today, guys. Um, we just Good. talked about the 100 club and are there any other besides this charity hockey game that the 100 club uh, has money raised for uh yeah i know they have a hundred club dinner i believe um i'm not sure which is like a it's, to be honest i can't 100 percent speak of it but i do know sure. they have like a uh, another charitable event uh, the 100 club dinner I want to say they do that uh, maybe late fall, early winter. Okay. Well, 
I don't know if you noticed it, but I'm noticing folks with tickets. Are they doing a 50-50 or something yes, out there? I believe I heard something about a 50-50 Yes, raffle. there's a 50-50 raffle going on and a chuck a, buck, chuck a puck contest. Which will be going on in the next period. We'll have yes. that chuck a puck. So, hmm. We, we can't chuck pucks through the netting here. I wish we could. <laughs> but I, I would do one every day. <laughs> but I may have to get into the 50-50, although we're doing live interviews, so I don't know about that. Next period, I'll let you guys get in there. Yeah, there's your guy right there. Oh, they're coming around doing it. Yeah, Chief Pryor, we can uh, we can get him up here if you would like to get in on the 50-50 raffle. Okay, so I have to ask this question. I know everyone's a big family, and I get that. But come on, when you get that new recruit coming in, you do think about Take little fun oh, jokes you can pull on that new oh, recruit, absolutely. don't you? Oh, 100%, oh. but yeah. at the yeah. same time, yeah. uh, we know that that recruit is needed, you know? Like, so while there is fun and games that go on with them, he, they're vital to what's going on. We need them. Right. Uh, we like to give them a hard time, but we're going to be there for them through thick and thin. I mean, if the PD's exactly. down, I think we're down 50 or more spots right now. Uh, I so. think we're down over... Uh, 15 to 20 yeah. in the so fire department. We need everybody that we can get. So they're a they're a vital part vital part of our operation, you know, in the city. So. But wear a thick skin when you come to apply because we're gonna we're gonna reveal yes. a little bit. Yes. Yes. So tell me this: Have you ever? Uh, I'm sure you have. When I say have you ever? But had a recruit come in and just thought he was nothing smells when it comes to him. He thought he was the God's gift to everything. And how long did it take before you had to put him in his place? It uh, usually happens on its own, just to yeah, be honest with it, you. It usually it's, works itself out. So. It's a uh, humbling experience to walk in, I'm sure, as PD. You walk into a room full of experienced firefighters or police officers, it's, it's humbling. They, they've been there, done that, you know? Uh, and hopefully you're the bigger person to learn from them because they've done it. Right. So... Hopefully that's what you you get, and it seems to be that is the the what we're getting now. You know. Okay, what is the best position, whether in police or whether in fire? Oh. Now, now rescue I, specialist. Oh, oh, SWAT. Yeah, yeah SWAT, SWAT baby. baby. SWAT. He, yeah. Even he knows SWAT I, I baby. Did, I did SWAT for twelve here. years. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Best job out there. Yep. By far. What, yes. What made it awesome? Uh, well, I mean, you get to kick in doors, you get to get drugs, you get weapons, you, you chase bad guys, uh, you get machine guns. I mean, you now, know all the cool stuff. Now, do you share the drugs? Is that how that works? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've and seen you, that show. And you, and you get to drive a big tank. So, I mean, come on. It's, Wait, it I thought you said you didn't watch that PD show on Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, you asked about the craziest thing that's yep. ever happened. Yep. The first time we ever breached the door with the Bearcat Ram, I, I was the one breaching. And I opened the door, but I never hit the door. I hit the door frame, and the entire roof kind of caved in. It was oh, awesome. See, there's the it difference right there. They talk about <laughs> breaching doors with the Bearcat. <laughs> right. We just do it by ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need a big tank to do it. A halogen and an axe, and we're happy, right? Yeah, he knows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't have a bear cat. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so, uh, Brian, you said rescue specialist. I know that's what you do. So it's what a, is a rescue specialist? It's a joke. Uh, so a rescue specialist is basically an avenue of promotion that we offer in the fire department if you don't want to be an equipment operator or a driver. So we have two rescues in the city. We have a, a big, re a heavy rescue and a smaller rescue. And the rescue specialists are on that. It goes to every fire in the city, every major person's trap car wreck in the city, as well as does all of our technical rescue in the city. So it's uh, just an, it's an avenue of promotion for those that, like he said, don't make, you don't want to kick indoors. I wouldn't have made a good driver, probably, to be honest with you, so it allowed me to promote into a position to, to do what I wanted to do. So if you ever have a position where somebody needs to talk, I'm, I'm there. Okay. <laughs> well, we're ready for period A radio three. guy. We need those. There, there you go. I'm period. a bad radio guy. I'll ask you a question <laughs> about the radios, too. But 
Uh, period number two is underway. This time the fire escape from the left to the right. PD from the right to the left. And the first whistle and stoppage here will commence and we'll have a face off to the left of goaltender for Springfield, Brian Wilson. PD with possession. Cross ice pass from Marriage goes along the line and it's not kept in by Davis. Chad Davis couldn't keep it in, so the puck is out to center. We talked 15. about SWAT being the best job. Yep. We, got, we got three SWAT guys on the PD side right now. Yep. Adams, Cisneros, and Grundy. And we have uh, two rescue specialists out there right now, Jeff Elliott and Joel Greasaver. And I don't see the SWAT guys stacking or anything. I'm very confused by their tactics right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They didn't read that in the manual, did they? No, no, they're not grabbing an elbow, <laughs> letting them know that they're ready to go. 15-23 to go in the period. Here come the fire. They already have a 3-0 lead. We'll go over the scoring for you in a moment. Coming down the middle, Marriage driving. Yeah, there's a good save. block. Good block by PD. Wilson with a good save there. We come up with the police with possession now. Here's Justin Compton. Across the line, can he get a shot off? He oh, does, oh. and a save, a sprawling save in front by Zacher. How's it going? Good. <laughs> okay, who cooks the best, police or fire? Seriously, who gets the most time to cook? Yeah, there's no question. <laughs> you want a good meal, you stop by a fire station, not a cop car. They, they have their built-in kitchen, I mean. Yeah, it's a fully functioning house. I think they have five alarm chili every night, or is, it, is that not true? Oh. oh, puck tipped in. Good save again by Wilson. Okay, do, so the question that I want to know is, John, do you kind of sometimes, I don't know, you're driving around, you're like, ooh, fire department, I think I'm going to stop in for dinner. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> well, they're either out there working out or sleeping or eating, so I don't know. Sometimes washing their trucks. Big save there as <laughs> Keller got a shot. Oh, the rebound in front. Huge save by Wilson. That one came off the stick of Houston. Just looking for a second goal. Oh, oh what do we got here? Big hit there. A mix up yeah. between Shaw there. Merkling and Shaw, and, yeah. You don't want to mess with Merkling. That guy can lift a buff. No, you don't want to mess with Shaw either. Merkling's the one that likes to leave his sh sleeves really short. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, he likes to let you know what he has. Yeah. Okay. But it we could be zero degrees and he would have short sleeves yeah. on. Yeah, we've got some of those guys. Wrap around in front is C. Oh, do they score? They score. Oh, they scored. Police right. score on the wrap around. All right. Who got that mm. score? That was a late goal, but they get it. And it looks like it's going to be Jimmy Ramsey that gets the goal. All right, Jimmy. Jimmy. This one, just 49 seconds into the second period. Police goal scored by number 21, assisted by 11 and 45 for the police department. 21 from 11 and 45. At the head to Grease Saber. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Caught it like a baseball. I'm a goalie. I've done that too. Just make everyone know that I've made the save. Yeah. So Ramsey gets the goal. The assists. They called out a number 11. We don't have that on our score sheet. And Eric Reese. Eric is number uh, 45, I think. Yep. He got an assist. He's a captain on the south side of town. Maybe they said 31, Jacob Adams. Jacob Adams. For the okay. goal? Yep. He's For the assist. Oh, he's, gotcha. He's one of the SWAT guys for oh. the Marine. We'll go with that. Ramsey's the one that got the goal. That is number 21. And stoppage with offsides here. 13-33 to go in this period. Now they put up the shots. Well, I guess that was last period shots. So you were right, Scott. So yeah, I have 15, 17 in favor of the fire department right now. <clears throat> 
So we know that the last four games have been won by the fire. And right now they lead three to one. Shot comes in, oh, big save oh. there as Nielsen got. And then the rebound is sticked away as Wilson was right there. And the drive in, Wilson sticks it up over the net. To the near side boards. Grabbed by Compton, and he'll have it in a three on two. Here's Compton with a drive in. Good save again. The rebound, and we get hey, a mess go. in front. <laughs> Trying to work through it is Kevin Grundy, and we get oh a stoppage in play. Hey, all right. What do we got here? They're patting each other on the back. Oh, okay. They're happy. Thought we were trying to take out their goalie. We'll take a look at it here. There's the first save and the rebound. A couple of players get mixed in front. And then it's just a scramble for everything there. They look like they're filing in the line at Golden Corral or something, the firemen are. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we're higher class than that. <laughs> <laughs> Who has more equipment to clean? Oh, oh fire. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like every day, let's wash the truck. Dude, we got to make it look good for the citizens. <laughs> well, I'll ask my next question in a second, but here come the fire. Here's Marriage with a drive, and he gets deflected. Actually, no, that was 54, so that's Dave Easter. I think that's East Dave yep. Easter. Buck out to center, and it's cleared all the way down by Merkling, and we should get an icing, but icing there. they wave it no. off. Oh. So that'll lead me to my next question. You may have already asked this before, but who's the best dressed? Oh, I, they clearly, please. I, I said it again. They, fire department. Firemen look like they're wearing scrubs or it looked <laughs> like they've got car hearts and they're going to a construction site. Like I mean, we're going to work, is that what you mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I already it. said the water does the work. Yeah, uh, you did say that. <laughs> Once again, yeah, that water's undervalued. Uh, we got to look good. We look good and we <laughs> are good. Yeah, so. you guys are good. I will give you that. <laughs> But man, we look way better. Okay, who's, well, give me a second here as we get a race coming in. This is Keller. Center's oh. in front and there's nobody there. Off to the far side. He's at, can he clear it? Yes, it's out to center. And there goes Lauder Ball. Oh, we've got a little Here's fire ball. on Take fire time going on Lauder right ball there. with a drive that hits the outside of the net. 11. 33 to go in the period. Here goes Dodge. Uh, Juicy's got the puck. Keller already has a goal, a shorthanded goal, by the way. That in the first period. Now coming Grease. in. Shaber. Oh, 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 that, that was a big good block. save. Huge save by the goaltender. The goalie needs to get Although back up. He's oh, wait, down. He's hurt. He's, he's hurt. hurt. He's hurt. Okay, now let's hope that Wilson's okay. I think he might have gotten a skate to the helmet after he made the save. I'm not sure if we caught that. Yeah, it looks like we did. That's Jimmy Ramsey's daughter that yeah, keeps hitting my head. There's the big <laughs> save like there. The back of the leg hit him in the yep. head right on top of the crown. Yep, that is not good. Everything looking okay, though. So 11 minutes to go. Somebody dropped a glove. That's not good. It's Cisneros. Here come PD. They have a two on two. Drive in by Compton, save the rebound. No, oh, there is none, it's oh. covered up. Good save and there by Zacher. You know, I was really surprised to hear Cisneros wanted to play hockey because he's from California. Hey and now, hey now, hey now, hey now. If hey it goes now. below 60 degrees, that kid's got a jacket on. Hey, as a California kid myself, I feel his pain. Where are you from? I'm uh, from the Bay Area in California. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. See, I'm a SoCal, or you're a North oh, Cal. See, so oh, you're yeah. not a real Cal. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, JT, this is the backhand. Lindquist missed on the backhand. He needs to check no. his elevation. It's Northern, a high. Northern Californiers are the whimpers. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah. 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 They gotta, they gotta stay in Cupertino and just do nothing. Yeah. 
That's spoken like a true SoCal guy. Uh -huh. Oh, we just got Bree Shaber. No. Oh, oh, oh mix up. Bree Shaber's not going to have it. Oh, boy. Oh, Somebody no. Shaber. Those boys are getting ejected, and probably. Compton. That's not good. Come they on, They are involved. So I think we should have put bars on the penalty box. Maybe so. <laughs> oh, Bree Shaber. Oh, we're going to get two to the box. Just for the crowd. That's what that was for. Oh, just fire. Just two for rough. Oh, oh yep. no. Oh, he had to get his stick back. They're oh. both going to get rough, so it's four on five on five. We're going to go five on five. So you all stole our stick. <laughs> no, Papa was just simply delivering the oh, stick. Oh, okay. Well, at least it's not a power play. Three penalties, six minutes for the hoses. One penalty, two minutes for the guns. 10.15 to go in this period. Three penalties, huh? That says a lot. So I was going to say, I'm from Minnesota originally, but when I joined the Marine Corps, I was in California, and while I was in the Corps, I refed hockey in California all, the, all over the place. Yeah. And so ice is expensive in California, so. <laughs> yeah, hot yeah. commodity. So refing was, oh, was what paid my way, you know? Yeah. They don't grow ice like they do in Minnesota, out in California. Yeah, I just go outside, you know? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. In California, if you want to play a game, you're playing at 4 in the morning. Kaylee <laughs> Friend, number two, that just hit the puck. She's from uh, Minnesota. Right out in front, a shot by Merkling, and that one is covered up by the goaltender, Dan Zacker. So far, a spirited game. You know, if PD gets another goal here, this is a different hockey game. Well, like you always say, Steve, yeah. a, a two-goal lead is the worst it's lead the in hockey. It's the worst lead so. in hockey right now. But you also said if. Big if. Shot missed wide by Scott Hill. Taken away by fire department's Andy Marich. He's an equipment operator, station 11. Nine twenty-three to go. Edcock coming in for uh, Ramsey. There's more fans here than when this game started. Yeah, it's it's, this, uh, it has grown a lot. This stadium is packed. Pass over to Adcock on the far side. Some people had to get a few beers in them first, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Go across the street. Well, the parking was a little uh, problematic, too. Yeah, there's definitely not enough parking no. for the amount of individuals that no. are here. Yeah, I parked about half a mile away to get here. Yeah, I was, I was wondering why the hotel parking was full already. <laughs> yeah. I'd say we found our reason. And it's... As we've talked about earlier, we talked about it uh, earlier with Ellen Brandhorst too. You know, uh, it's it's a it's a situation where you really don't want to be part of this club, but you're happy it's here. Oh. Here's going to be a break. Here's Adcock on the breakaway. Coming out in front, oh, and taking it away is Dave Easter. We're going to get a penalty. Defensive play. It's nope. going to be a hooking call. Yep. Uh, no, it's a hooking call. Oh, whoa. What is that? Huh. Well, he is not happy as Dave Easter with that call. He's not happy that he got caught. Just like everybody that gets caught. I, caught know. by the police. Imagine that. <laughs> So if our canines help the police find drugs, do your Dalmatians help you guys find fire hydrants? Man, that would be cool if we had one that did that. <laughs> Fourth power play for the guns. Okay, who has the best zingers? Dude, the fire department is way clever. Much they, more clever. Because they have Much more time more. on their hands. Thank you. They yeah, have more time, they on their more time on their hands. <laughs> we got time to just think as of them. As they're, as they're lounging on their well, parking loungers. Yeah, I was just thinking away of how to get one up on the cops. Fire department penalty number 54, two minutes for hooking 
54, two minutes hooking. Two minutes hooking. Oh, there's a joke in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you said that and yeah. didn't complete that joke. <laughs> Here comes Lauterbaugh. He gets chased by Caleb Elliott. Puck comes out and racing hard Ooh. to try to get to it is Cisneros. Cisneros. All right, Steve's got it. So we'll come the other way. This is a perfect opportunity for PD to get a tying goal or to get a oh. uh, goal here. Not tying yet. Drive missing Good wide. Shot by Cisneros. I'll tell you what, Zacher is all over the place trying to keep it out of his net. We're making him earn his money. Oh, Papa! You gotta be, that's elderly abuse. Is there a penalty for that? <laughs> there is a penalty. <laughs> yeah. On the far well, side. Yeah, it's gonna penalty for elderly abuse. Elder abuse. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you can't meet up on the old man like that. I don't know if you can take it anymore. He is, he is a grandpa. Oh, uh, he is. Papa is definitely a grandpa. <laughs> uh, so this is should be a tripping penalty. Both oh. of the other two players are out. Oh, Cisneros is out. You call it tripping, I'm gonna call it elderly abuse. No, they're gonna call it hooking, <laughs> is the official call. Zachar's coming out. Uh, Tim Shaw is coming in goal now. Okay, so they're gonna switch. And Tim Shaw will be in, as you say. Rams is facing all. So shots even up at 21 nice. apiece. You see that snag? Oh, like taking candy from a baby. Yeah, God. Yeah. Quick hands. So Dan Zacker leaves facing 21 shots and giving up a goal. Okay, here we go. Oh, here comes Jimmy. And Good poke check there. Fire will steal. Keeney had it for a moment, it was taken away from him and sent back down into the fire end of the ice. So is it different when a policeman gets uh, charged with hooking? <laughs> no, a firefighter, I mean. Yeah, definitely different. <laughs> Those firemen swarmed on Ramsey like firemen at a uh, Ashley sale. <laughs> and there's a deal, there's a deal. Yeah. Oh, there's an Ashley joke. I was waiting for one. Yeah. <laughs> So we get a clothing allowance. Do you guys get a uh, Lazy Boy allowance? Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, goal! Oh, Nielsen ding ding with the goal. That's Nielsen's second goal. It's now three to two. And that one is a all four to one. Power play goal. Yep. That's a power play goal. I wish it was three to two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> second goal of the game for Nielsen here in the second period. And the fire department opens up. Did I say it's a 3-2? No, it's a 4-1 game. They open up a three-goal lead now. Fire department goal scored by number four, assisted by 14. For the fire department, four from 14. Well, 14 then is Andy Merritt. Shaw dumps it back in. Juicy's going to do the same. So a 4-1 game. Yeah, I anticipate icing on that. Yeah. Yep. I came to I the now, do either of you guys skate? <laughs> no. Uh, I can semi-skate. I try to skate out of hard work. That's an old Marine Corps joke yeah, there. I was waiting for that to come out. I was going to say something if you didn't. Uh. Here's a drive in, a bouncer that's saved. Drive came from the point. Oh. 
little, little no, extra we got a little had a little extracurricular activity. A little bit of tussle down low. Shaw's pass makes it in. Everyone clears, and a drive by Keller's here to side. Good deflection. Four forty. Nine to go in the period. Dodgers got it. Nope. Doyle's going to go back behind the net to get it. Here comes Grundy. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Steve. The fire with a comfortable lead here. And they might have some oh, more. Gee. Oh, Ben Houston has the puck out in front. Oh, yeah, look at that it. block. Look at that block. Right into a brick wall. Houston tried to wrap around, and it was blocked in front. Cleared out to center. Get down there, Grundy. Grundy's in the Air Force Reserve. The B-2 squadron. Papaw Jeff Elliott plays it up. Look at that. Oh. Look at mm. that deflection with the skate. That was skill right there. Cisneros <laughs> all day long. Yeah. Pure skill. Okay, do you guys have like police officer for a day or firefighter for a day or anything no. like that? Uh, we do not know. Once you're in our academy. <laughs> you can do the ride along. Uh, Bro, you're are, slow. Are, are you getting <laughs> somebody? You can do a ride along with a BD. You're slow. Yeah. You can't keep All right. up. All right, I'm, I'm buying. If I'm paying for I, I think, I, I think as we get an icing call here. So I think Ryan is going to have to take care of whatever's going on. We got a lot of police over here, so. Uh, I know, I know. Can, can you do something, John? I, I need to get some help over here. I'm getting overwhelmed by these fire guys. Face off is one, and a good deflection by the PD by Cineros. Well, they are used to traveling in groups, though. So, like packs. Yeah, half truck will travel. Yeah. Uh, it looks like you had a couple of uh, uh, inebriated yeah. friends saying hi to you. Not inebriated. Okay. Beer Yet. delivery looked like. Yet. Yet. But You'd have to ask the professional to oh. my right. Yeah, it did look like it did look like a beer <laughs> delivery. That's for sure. They do serve alcohol here. All right, here comes Jimmy. He is fast, like he you said. He is fast. He is fast. Ramsey oh, with a drive-in oh, good save by Shaw. Goal. The rebound, Shaw mm. makes a save there, too. All right, fans, if you are participating in our Chuck the Buck contest. Last year, Jimmy came into the goal going about that fast and <laughs> didn't stop and separated his shoulder. And he was out for a few weeks. Yeah. It doesn't look like he got the stopping down yet. <laughs> He's still learning. Yeah. Like the old Mighty Ducks, that kid that couldn't stop. What the walls for? Yeah, it'll stop you. Well, you just can't get that California audio, can you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, well, yeah, that's SoCal though, but no, well, they you can't beat it out of me. Yeah. So who's your team? The Sharks then? Yeah, I mean I'm from the Bay Area. My wife is from San Jose, so. Oh, right into the mask. Right in the face. JT Linguist goes right to the face. Took it like a champ. <laughs> oh, they're working those goalies over. Oh, good deflection by Kaylee Friend. Back to the far side, PD. Oh, Grease Haber. Grease Haber sneaks one up. Oh, we got a little through. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh, no. This is not good. What, what are we doing here? Come on, guys. The, this ain't the NHL. The refs break it up real quick. We've got ten bodies on the ice right now. 
I think that was Wes Adcock throwing punches. It was. He got his face mask. He got his helmet ripped off. Yep. I think he got hit in the head pretty hard, too. Oh. We got sticks on the ground, gloves on the ground, helmets on the ground. Let's see if we can see what predicated that. There you go. Getting the oh, box. sending Linquist to the box for it. Yeah, get in the box, fireman. Well, get in the box. It was actually. Oh, well, we might be going the box. <laughs> yeah. it was actually I think it's going to be a, a dual two box. for one special. Yeah. Linquist was the one that actually did the initial penalty. He's the one that threw sticks. So someone came out of the police department box <laughs> to go over to the firefighter box well, and tell I mean, him. We got to take care of our is own. Going to jail. Is that Frizzell? <laughs> yeah. We call That's for Mel Frizzell. So you got Linquist and Attic in the box now, right? Was that not a goal? It was a goal, I thought. Yeah, that was a goal. Yeah, I put it up as a goal. I think that was a goal by Greasehaber. Eh. We'll look at it again here. It should be a yeah, goal. Yeah, I saw it go in the net. So it was in the net. Trickle through. Unless they're going to say that, you know, because. There was no arm up here. Okay, nothing yet. Nothing yet. The goal hasn't been. There's Shot. the penalty. There's the goal. Now the fight. There's the sign. Yep, so it was a goal. Let's talk about penalties versus penalties. I mean, I think <laughs> Fire's got a few more penalties than police. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. <laughs> We're getting it out here. <laughs> But you know, at the end of the day, these guys are going to shake hands. And oh, be, yes. We leave it on the ice. Oh, yeah. It's all for good fun. I think this happens every year. We'll wait to see what's going on here. So number 10 gets, uh, gets the boot. Oh, yeah. he's getting oh. ejected. Linquist is ejected? Oh, man. Well, it, it, Adcock, it depends Adcock's on. Adcock's getting ejected, too. Oh. So he he is. He stripped the jersey yeah, he's, off. He's, he's got his jersey off. Well, you think with fighting. That's unfortunate. In this situation. Somebody else from fire just went off, too. 14. Uh, I think he just went to go say something. Oh. He's standing in the tunnel still. Okay. So he's from Adcock our tunnel in around. here. And he's he, yeah, he's coming off. back. 14 is coming back out. So here 14 comes. is uh, Andy Marriage. So is Adcock back in? All right, Panthers, we got that sorted. We have some penalties to announce for the fire department. Number 10, two minutes for cross checking. Number 10, two minutes cross checking. Also, number 10 with a five minute di game disqualification for fighting. Number 10, for the fire department and additionally number 22 police department five minute game dq for fighting so both attic and linquist are out yeah, you saw it, that it, coming. it so looks like keeney went to the box for something so adcock gets 15 minutes in penalties that is Three penalties, 17 minutes now so for the guns. <laughs> for hoses, if I add all this up here. <laughs> Get your calculator. Most of the game? Yeah. <laughs> Get your calculator. Now, <laughs> now, do we have a goal? They still haven't put it up on the board. That Someone else know. is getting uh, removed from the ice. Let's not, oh. remind, let's not remind them about the goal. So the hoses. Oh, uh, somebody came through and is now on the bench. <laughs> Oh, Attic's on the bench. I like his style. You allowed to be on the bench? I don't know the rules. I don't think so. Once no. you're kicked oh, out, no, nope. it looks out. like he's gonna <laughs> skate on off the ice as well. Somebody buy that man a bottle. Oh, I forgot my water bottle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, he tried. And then there he goes. And so, he didn't shut the door behind so him. So at the end of the game, do we, do <laughs> we have a power Red play dots. now? Yeah, there was two, five, and ten. So the extra two goes to Linguist. So it is a police power play. This is, believe it or not, their fifth power play. Hmm. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sadly, the score does not reflect that number. Nope. Here's Grundy. His pass comes up the middle and cleared all the way back down. The friend will grab it. Kaylee's pass over to Scott Hill. Away from him. And sent in one-handed by Grundy all the way down. Well, two-handed maybe. On the sweep. Grundy's a sniper. He needs both hands. <laughs> one minute remains in the second period. One minute to go. Shaw tried to clear it, but was stopped by PD. Delayed offside, and PD will clear. Barring any other uh, activity, this penalty will carry over into the third period, it looks like. Yeah, about a uh, little less than 20 seconds. Three saver. Bring across the blue line. Denied by police. Here comes Jimmy Ramsey. Come in, Scott. Baby Elliott with a shot on goal. There it is, there it is. Yep, good block, good block. Just a tenth of a second remains on the clock. One tenth. One tenth, just let it go. This is yeah. where you pull your firefighter goalie and you have, you have six players out there and you see if, if you can touch the puck before it hits the ice because that's all you got. Another quick goal from Houston. Wilson's been making some pretty good saves there. We'll have to double check if it's 5-1 or not. That'll do it for the period. So shots on goal, 15 on fire departments. Combination of Dan Zacker and Tim Shaw as they split their period duty there. Zacker left with 21 shots against. For the fire department, for the police department that is, Brian Wilson faces 14 to period total of 28. There's 13 seconds left in the power play. Oh, there'll be another power play, trust me. I'm sure, I'm sure Fire will get another penalty or three. You gotta even it out. Yeah. So we're waiting for our special guest to come up. And it should be Jeff Cumley here in moments. We'll talk with him. But I'll try to ask you guys a couple more questions in between this. They're going to do puck and chuck, uh, chuck a puck, I believe. So no ice scrape. <laughs> but, okay, so I've asked you kind of all the questions about each other. Are there things, and let's, let's start with you, John. Are there things about the fire department that you were shocked to know and then Brian, are there things about the police department you were shocked to know? Hmm. Hey. <laughs> I feel like we're being set up. I think we are being set up. It's all in fun. Come on, guys. Hmm. I mean, I feel like, no, there's not anything not that really. shocked me about the police department. Um, like we talked about, it's all in good fun, the joking that, you know, we're doing. But, like, at the end of the day, we know the work that they do, and I feel like they know the work that we do. And our joking is all in good fun, but there's nothing but mutual respect between the two sides. What shocked so, me is the price of their fire trucks. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. They are I mean, absolutely ridiculous. I would say, <laughs> as a firefighter, that shocked me as well <laughs> in learning, you know. Oh, my Lord. Um, sure. So, but no, I feel like nothing has shocked me. Guys, continue on. We're, I'm just getting oh. our next oh. guest uh, oh, okay. up here. So, um, okay, who, who, who is the biggest fashionista? <laughs> the police or the fire? Oh, the police. <laughs> Then yeah, absolutely, because yeah. we look the best. Dude, oh, I mean, no, come on. they're trying we've, harder to look better. We've already, dis we've already established <laughs> that, that we look better. Yeah, so yes. I think we have established which one looks better. I mean, you have one that looks like janitors. <laughs> yeah. 
scrubs. <laughs> and, then, and then you have us. That yeah, look I mean, like, I mean, almost as good as a Marine Corps uniform. I mean, we are mopping floors, you know. Yeah. All right, looks like we have our special guest, Scott, if we can borrow your headset. And we will get our special guest. Oh, we got all the kids out here throwing yeah. pucks out on the ice. Yeah, look at that. That's some fun stuff. We, <laughs> we got a blue one that's real close. Anybody have a puck? Come on. There we go. Go we get it. Go find the winner, Papa. While you're watching that happening, we have our special guest, Bob Certain of the 100 Club. And Bob, I've been talking with John Stowe of the PD and Brian Fick of the fire department here. And obviously, it, it's it's a great club to have, but it's a club that nobody really wants to be a part of, if, if you know what I'm saying. Let's see if we get you. Potted up here. You are right there. There we go. Uh, but yeah, it's just a situation that nobody really wants to be kind of a part of. That's right. I have described what we do is that we perpetually raise money that we hope we never spend. Unfortunately, we have spent some every once in a while. And um, what we do is raise money, and um, whenever a law enforcement officer or a firefighter in Greene County is killed in the line of duty, uh, usually the next day we present the spouse with a check for $5,000, or I should say $25,000, and that is totally unrestricted. Uh, they can spend that, the spouse can spend that on anything they want because there will be life insurance money and other money coming from the feds and the state. Sometimes it takes six or eight months to get that. And so this is uh, right at the time of the need, the day after, and uh, they can spend it on the house payment or car payment or food, anything they need. If I remember right, this started in the 50s? No, actually it started about 2000, well, the original one, yes, yeah. yes, in Detroit. It was started by 100 businessmen in Detroit who felt the need to uh, do something for the fam families of fallen uh, first responders in Detroit. Uh, we've been around here in Greene County since about 2007. Okay. And, uh, you know, we talked about it throughout this whole broadcast. It's just a situation that uh, you, don't, you don't want to spend any of this money, but you know that you need to. So what are the things that you do? Like obviously, this charity game yes. to raise money, but what else do you do, or, or uh, do you have to do anything else to raise money? We do have to do some things to raise money. First of all, we are so appreciative of this event. We've been the recipient uh, for the last three years, and um, it has brought us uh, really a, a nice donation every year. We also have memberships that we offer to people that is just $100 a year, and it's every year. And then we also have a, um, a big event, usually in September, a big banquet uh, that uh, usually, uh, last year we raised about $74,000 just in that. And now we have we had expenses to pay on that, of course, sure. but uh, that has been very, very successful for us. We have great keynote speakers, and um, and so that that's our big event is that right there, that, that one. John, Brian, anything you guys want to add? Uh, I mean, the only thing I can say is thank you for what you do. Well, I mean, thank you for it, saying that. It means a lot to me knowing that that that's out there if something does happen. So. I, I truly do appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate knowing that. And there's a, there's a lot of police officers and firefighters who, who really don't know we exist. We're trying to change that a little bit. But we even have, uh, it, you know, we include all the rural fire departments out there, all the small town police departments uh, in Greene County. There's like 15 of them. And so it's not just here in Springfield, but uh, any, any law enforcement officer or firefighter in Greene County. And we're, we're, we're thrilled to be able to do that, uh, to provide that service. It means a lot. It's a nice blessing to those families. I mean, raising that money, but hoping you never have to spend it. That's but right. Once in a while, you might have to. You know, that's, that's just the way our culture is, and it's horrible. But we have to face the fact that it occasionally happens. So. Obviously, it's a, it's a fun time tonight. It, you kind of yes. forget about what's going on and, and you just 
you, you get to you get to see some fun stuff except towards the end there that one wasn't that wasn't <laughs> fun they were throwing they were throwing some punches there. they're not supposed to do that i don't think no, all in good fun they all look like good, fun. good fun they look no, like i didn't say fun. blood did you no no blood no foul right exactly yes yes, yes. yeah that, that's always fun so what made you uh, get become part of this club 100 i was uh brought on the board probably about six years ago by Bob Hammersmith, who used to be uh, president of Commerce Bank, he was one of the founding members in 2007. And uh, when he told me what the what the Green County 100 Club did, I didn't have to think about it. I am a former police officer with Green County and Springfield Police Department, but that was a long, long time ago in my previous life. Uh, and so I understand the the need. I understand the the danger. And uh, and so when Bob asked me to be on the board, I he immediately said yes, and then I became president about three years ago. So then I do want to ask you a kind of a personal question. Sure. How different is being a police officer, and, you know, same thing, uh, John, you can also chime in on this. How different is it being a police officer now compared to when you were an officer? Totally different. Um, it was not as dangerous back then. Um, we, we are very fortunate here in our area in southwest Missouri to where the citizens still have much respect for the police and fire. Absolutely. But you don't see that obviously around the country. And so we, you know, we didn't have to deal with all the things that they deal with now with, with regard to families and children. You know, we had we had, you know, domestic violence and child abuse back then, but not to the to the extent that it is today. Um, Obviously, you have uh, idiots in other cities that will walk up to a police car and pull the trigger. We haven't had that here. Um, but uh, anybody who's a law enforcement officer or a firefighter, they don't worry about it. They don't go to work thinking they're going to they're gonna die, but it's always in the back of their mind. And, um, and we're, we're very fortunate in our area where, uh, and we have good police and fire. And so they, they have earned the respect and deserve the respect of the public. We've been, we've been very blessed in this in this part of the country. We've kind of been insulated from from some of the, yes. the stuff that's happened on the left coast and the right coast, and uh, the community support that we have here is just unbelievable. It's, and, it is, and it it's is evident powerful. here by the amount of people that are here at this uh, at this charity game. Well, this event is well attended every year. Yeah, I know this is uh, the it's the fourth annual. Yes, there was COVID that kind of interrupted things a little bit, yeah. so fifth a year of, of attempting this, obviously fourth year completing it. Right. Uh, but uh, one of the other questions that I, I do want to ask you is uh, as, as far as police go, John, you know, you can you can also uh, go into that, is what do you think is the funnest position to be? Or what would you, if you could do it all over again, unless it's the position you were in, if you could do it all over again, what position would you hold in the police department? What do you think is like the best? Well, I'd want to be the chief. <laughs> the man in charge. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is that's kind of a thankless job. You got a lot of people um, not literally shooting at you, but figuratively shooting at you. But, uh, you know, I always thought when I was with Springfield, that goes back in the mid 80s, the position of corporal was kind of the best job. Because you were like, you know, assistant sergeant when the sergeant's gone, and you were the uh, major major crimes investigator. I'm not sure if that's still the case now. Still the case. But, uh, yeah. but the corporal was, was, was a good job. I would say that uh, patrol sergeant is probably one of the best jobs that I've had. So. But right up there with SWAT. I mean, SWAT was where it was at because yeah, right. that's where, you know, <laughs> Uh, that's where the rubber meets the road whenever it hits the fan, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and the full-time guys, you get paid to work out oh, and, absolutely. and train. And I, I was, mean, I was in so much better shape when I was on the full-time team. <laughs> yes. Let me tell you. So yeah. let me get this correct. All those workout jokes, you've been paid to do the same thing. That is correct. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. Funny. Yep. Okay, so how does it work? I mean, I know what I see on TV. I've always wanted to be an investigator. Always, I thought, if I'm going to join the PD, I want to be an investigator. Obviously, you can't just go into being an investigator. So 
what's the, the level that you have to get through in order to be in that position? And just because you want to be in that position doesn't mean you get to, correct? Right, right. No. no. Now, when I was on, I'm not sure if it's still the same thing, but to be a detective, you had to first achieve the rank of corporal. No, now it's just you have to be three years and okay. as an officer, and then you have to do an interview process, okay. and then they make a selection based on so the So you don't interview. have to be corporal right. necessarily. Okay, right. that's good. Yep. But you got to be one of the best investigators, and a police officer has done well in the first three right. years. They worked, and uh, they want they want good, qualified people that uh, know know what they're doing. Right. Your work history, your work ethic. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how, how do they determine? I mean, obviously, I, if I want, if I was in there and I said, okay, I want to be an investigator. Well, there has to be something that that sticks in their mind or that determines that they're going to say, oh, okay, yeah, I think you're you're good for it. In other words, if you're a rookie and right a couple of years into it, what do you have to do to show that you're maybe good for that position other than saying you good, want to Good investigations. Yeah. Uh, well, well, if, if you, you explain if you go, for someone like me, what an investigation So if you go to a call and you're presented with uh, a set of facts and you investigate it to the very end, so you interview suspects, you interview witnesses, you interview victims, okay. and you solve the crime per se okay. in, in, a, in a shift or whatever it takes, they look at that. They look at your, your history of how analytical are you and how are you able to you know, just kind of gather the facts, sort through them, and present a case to the prosecutor to present charges against okay. the suspect. And just because you've met the requirement of being on at least a minimum of three years, that doesn't mean you're going to get the job. I mean, there's guys that uh, and women that may have been there eight or nine or 12 years that right. before they become a, a detective. And you really, at the three-year mark, you're just kind of starting to figure out, you kind of know what you're doing. Sort but you of, don't yeah. know everything. You know where the bathrooms yeah. are in the police department. It's yeah. usually <laughs> around the five-year mark when you really kind of figure out, like, okay, I'm comfortable. I kind of know what I'm doing. Totally agree with that. Yeah. All right, yeah. Brian, we have about a minute left before we got to start the next period. How about on the fire side? Do you, uh, think, you know, it's like to be a fire investigator. Or uh, so that's a completely different process for that for us. Um, we have fire marshals. So they actually go through the firefighters police with guns. They go through the police department. Some of one of them is a former police officer from Springfield. So uh, we have two commissioned fire marshals and then two non-commissioned fire marshals. And uh, they usually come from our rank of either like equipment operator or a captain rank that, like he said, shows interest in that. They show interest in wanting to investigate fires, things like that. They have to hold obviously certain certifications uh, to do that job. And then once they do, they test, they take a written test, interview process, things like that. Um, and then if they are non-commissioned, and all looking to become commissioned, they go through Springfield Police Department's uh, police right, academy we'll as basically the like a full-blown academy. Full-blown we'll we'll rookie cop. Like, uh, uh, so, yeah, so it's an interesting process for them. Uh, firefighters with guns is what I like to call them. Would you like to do that? Uh, no, sir. That is not my cup of tea, okay. to be honest with you. Uh, but we do have people that that's what they want to do. Sure. So well, we're just about to get started in period number three. Bob Citron, thanks so much. For Thank you for the opportunity. Us. I really appreciate it. You're, you're welcome. Thanks so much. He is the president of the 100 Club. We are moments away from the start of this third period. Now, remember, there is 13 seconds left in the penalty that was assessed earlier to JT Lindquist. Dude, I love it. And so we will start with the shorthanded situation as we get ready to go here. All right, fans, last chance tonight. Make some noise. Here comes the third period of guns and hoses. So the police once again skating from the left to the right and fire once again from the right to the left. We are underway in period number three quickly. The clock is not running. It'll be Grease Shaver. <laughs> yeah, it is not running. Now they Three finally ran it. Oh, now so they got it going. There'll be an additional few seconds on the yep, power play. 11 seconds. <laughs> Bree Shaver looking for a drive in. Good save there. Oh, he tried to 
follow up on the rebound, but Wilson is there to cover it up. 15.40 to go. Well, guys, I, I know it's not been that much fun for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, let's get you. Oh, bought it back up here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I apologize. It's not been that much fun. <laughs> oh, it's been <laughs> a great it's night. Been, it's been an interesting experience. Yes. That is exactly how to explain it. Better than you thought it would be? Yeah, absolutely. All That's right, here's, oh. here comes Jimmy. Oh, nice assist. Like we just talked about it, it's all for charity and for a, a very good charity, so I'm very glad to be here tonight. 15.20 to go in the period. And sitting on top of the puck is a fireman. Who Shaw. is that? That's yeah. Or is that Houston? Oh. Twelve. He's got. He's hurt. Oh, I think that's hurt. Let's see here. I think that's right Shaw. Let's see if we can see exactly what happened here on the replay. His right right gets back to the bench. Yep, that's Shaw, 42. Shaw right. just really milking that one out. <laughs> oh no, he did fall. He, yeah, he kind of tried to get around. Side. That was a hard fall. Yeah. Oh, so he must have done something to either his shoulder or something because they're taking his jersey off. Over yeah, there. look he, at it. He overextended, uh, falling down. It did not look good. A friend tries to push it through. Oh, now a couple oh, of no. players. That was as, a hard fall. Yeah, Ramsey fell on top of the player. He's still trying to get up. He's having oh. a hard time there. And this is the reason why I said the most dangerous place in Springfield <laughs> is the ice right now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> People take it for granted when they watch an NHL or a collegiate game. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. all these guys get out here and skate. Yeah, they're pure, oh, yeah. maybe the most athletic people I'd in be, sports. I'd be going out on the stretcher if I took a fall like that. <laughs> yeah. Here come PD with a oh, drive in. Oh, save. Good save. That was a good shot. Eric Reese got that drive in and a big save there once again. Eric's a big guy too. Tim Shaw playing the second half of this contest. Dan has got the puck back there. Dan Zacker started, faced 21 shots. Oh, Steve. Oh. Steve. All right, right come on. Front. Oh, oh. oh, what a save. Oh. He had a good opportunity there. Jeff Steve, he's an officer in investigations. Buck to the far side. Chasing for it is Caleb Elliott. So I was confused when I saw that that rank or position. That seems very Isn't broad. that just an <laughs> investigator? Yeah, so he's a detective. I can't, okay, okay, I can't detective. remember. I think he's a property detective, but I'm not, I can't remember for sure. Here comes Grease Saber. Oh! That's a good save. That's a good save right there. That's a great save. Another big save by Wilson. But after a while, you're going to know that's what he does. He stays yeah. down, so shoot yeah. it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. These goalies are earning their money for sure. Okay, one of the questions I was going to ask you earlier, and this had to do with voices, and and I, and, and I talked, said, well, you know, if you need someone with a voice. So, <laughs> okay. So you're listening to the dispatchers. <laughs> yeah. So, and I'll go back to, are either of you married? I yes. am, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So then back when you weren't married, let's say, or have you been married the entire time you've been the entire in Entire time. Okay. About the same for me too. All right. So then uh, if you were just talking to one of your guys on, on, uh, on a shift with you, how many of them ever had thoughts about the, the person on the other end of the microphone? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I feel like this one might be best left alone. A very good friend of mine who's listening right now is married to a former dispatcher and I love them both to death, and they're great friends of mine. So, uh, <laughs> shout out to Tony and Christina. I know personally, I hate to hear myself on the radio, like hate it. So sometimes you'll overhear, like you'll be on the radio talking, and then the uh, truck's next to it, and you'll hear it. Yeah, and it just oh, makes yeah. me cringe. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys handled that question very, very diplomatically. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> very professional. Yeah. Yes, very professional. I assume you'd be like me when you go back to watch this replay on YouTube. You'd be like, oh, oh, yeah, why am I it? talking? Man, about? I said that? Oh. Yeah, 20 years from now, I'll say, why did I, why did I ask that question? <laughs> it's all in fun. There's no bad questions. Okay, I'll remember that. I'm a firm believer in that. Here's Houston. 
Has some room, he shoots. Oh, oh he missed it up high. That was a good well, one. he took your advice, he went high. And he, another one. And oh. A, is this a, is that a save? Oh, what a save. That was a save a by save. Wilson. Right in the bed basket. That was nice. That's what we call a windmill when you reach out and grab it and yeah. sleep in your arm. Call you just luckily grab it. <laughs> Secondary save, you gotta like those. Well, thanks for joining us. I'm Steve Casson along with Scott Lutzke. Our cameraman is Eric Papuga, and of course, John Stowe from the PD and Brian Fick also from the fire department here on this broadcast today. So Jeff wants to have us back next year. He already said. Yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Yeah, I'll be more than happy to do this as long as they'll have me. Yeah. I, I got a whole slew of, I, when uh, when Steve approached me about this game, I'm like, oh, man, I got so many ideas on how we can <laughs> how we can start this out, you know, like, like a drama. Yeah. You know, like firefighters are oh. grabbing their sticks out of their lockers instead of their gear because they <laughs> found out the address is X, Y. You know what? I probably should save this because this is yeah. just spoiler no, alert. No, we're going to do it for next year. So, just, oh. But I got some ideas. I'm excited play. for that. That would be great. Cops will be sitting at Dunkin' Donuts or something here in right. address. And oh, there you here. go. <laughs> as long as we don't have a cooking competition because they'll win because they just watch Martha Stewart all yeah, day Yeah, maybe long. we should do that, huh? Yeah. Y you know what, what we should do? Here's another idea. So somehow the police car breaks down, and then just, the officer just, just gets stop, into the fire department. No, and no, 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 just stop. I don't know if he can handle you're, that kind of excitement in okay. his life. I won't say Normally, words. you don't give out the the... the the whole story okay. <laughs> the year before. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I didn't know. I mean, we don't, the cop can't get in the fire trucks. We don't want to make, I mean, all the dreams come true. Yeah, I think that's against the law, isn't it? Years ago, we had, breaking the law. <laughs> years ago, we had a cop that had to drive an ambulance for mercy <laughs> and uh, to the hospital, and it was quite comical. I bet it was. Really? Yeah. Here's a drive-in. Oh, oh hit the post. that was so close. Ramsey hit the crossbar after the initial save in front by Shaw. And they were that close That's to getting another goal. Come on, Ramsey, get that biscuit. So apparently, oh. Scott, and you have corrected it on our score sheet, it's not 5-1. to one. Yeah, so I went and talked to the refs afterwards. Although we looked at the replay and he clearly made a, an indication of a goal, the, the whistle blew before the goal, he said, so no goal. It's so a goal in my here's heart. Here's Ramsey, here's <laughs> Ramsey. They only got one defender. Yep. Oh. oh. Man. Okay. All right, guys, listen up. If you are here for the fire department, make some noise. Listen how much louder it's going to be for the fire department. Okay, all right. Because <laughs> they've had time to rest. Oh, good show. There you go. Great there you show. Go. Yeah, so the public address announcer said if you're here for the fire department, make some noise. If you're here for the police department, make some noise. Make some noise. There you go. Drive comes in. That one's deflected into the corner on another save by Shaw. Came off the stick of Thomas. Oh, Miller goes down. <laughs> he's, yes. down he's down hard. Houston has some room. Right side, down the middle. Oh. Like it's poked away from him from behind. Good play there. Looks like, was that Pizak? Pizak, 37. Okay, so honestly, with the exception of this game, how many of you guys, well, I get, you guys don't skate, so oh. I guess, I guess uh, this is one of the largest crowds that these folks have been in front of. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I go to I go to almost all of their games during the regular season, and uh, it's usually about I don't know 50 people or so. But you're the one that keeps yelling up in the stands. I am. Yeah. What every am I every time I used to go and play against. Oh no, no, that's him. Oh, no, that's me. I, okay. I usually bring a siren too. I was gonna say <laughs> every every time when I play in the men's league and I play against the fire department, there's somebody up there just yelling. My wife didn't let me bring the siren today. Well, that's no fun. Both teams uh, complete some line changes here. Not get called for too many men. That's a good thing. Play at center. Here comes oh, Easter. 
Oh, good oh. block, good block by Wilson. Went low again. Big pad stack save there. Here comes Ramsey. Oh, double team, oh. but he picks oh. it up with a drive and it's blocked. Easter with a block there. Buck up the middle. Cisneros is trying to hold it in. Oh, Here right comes one. Juicy. Here comes Cisneros. The juice is loose. Here's Keller. Oh! oh. Blocked by Wilson. Actually, I think he just missed. I know we only have 8.08 left and we don't get to, oh, to that's gonna call it, but I guess we can call our own player of the game. Right now, I gotta give it to Wilson. He's been playing well. I mean, yeah, it's four to one, but he's made some good saves. There's been a lot of shots on goal. Some windmill action, some pad stacking. Yeah, I gotta like it. A couple fights. That shot was turned away. Oh, nope. that was Pesix. Or Pizax, I mean. Here come the fire again. Here comes Grease. Trying to get one now. Oh, oh so front. Nielsen again. Oh. If I'm correct me if I'm wrong, is that a hat trick for Nielsen? That is the hat trick. Is uh, the Nielsen goal. goes for the hat trick. That's ridiculous. The assist from Grease. Is he one of those ones that they brought in from the upper leagues? I bet I, he is. No, I think he is a C-leaguer. Is he really? I think he is. Okay, all right. Look at that, two on one. And that's where the defense went to the goal shooter and, and the puck carrier, and that is not good. Mm. That left Nielsen open, and he gets the goal. goal is scored by number four, assisted by 17 and 32. For the fire department, four from 17 and 32. So Nielsen from Grieshaber and 32 is Chad Davis. Oh. The hat trick for Nielsen. Well, right now he's got to be the player of the game. Yeah. At well, this point. Maybe we should retract our former statement. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard to argue that one. Hey, we still got six and a half minutes left. <laughs> a lot can happen. A lot can happen. So basically a goal a, a minute. We're yep. good. Goal a minute, and this game could be tied. We get an offside here. Okay, we mentioned earlier 2019 6-3 fire win, 2020 7-3 fire win. No game in 2020-21. And in 2022, 10-3 fire win. And right now it's a 5-1 fire lead. John, I got to ask you this question. What do you guys have to do? Who do you got to get on there? Uh, uh, we gotta, we gotta score four more goals. <laughs> well, I just meant for, I meant for next year. Tie it. Oh, <laughs> like, like, do you gotta get Gretzky or? Uh, uh, we gotta work on our defense a little bit, I think. But uh, we've got plenty of shots on goals, so these guys have gotten so much better over the years. But uh, you guys are just too busy that you can't practice, right? I mean, we're, we're, we're out yeah, there that's keeping, what it is. We're out there keeping the city safe. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> just too much, not enough time in the day for the cops hey, to get good at hockey is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I'll take that Police 20 after the, the broadcast. <laughs> well, and a lot of these guys work night shifts, so, you know. Oh, they're, they're tired. tired. Yeah, they're tired. Fire department! Police! Fire! Give yourself a round of applause. Getting the fans all fired up no uh <laughs> no offense there yeah. for this they took they never mind <laughs> buck back out for the fire department oh goes off of the boot of baby elliot of elliot caleb baby elliot <laughs> yeah oh nice tip it's hard for front. me to call him any different when you work with his dad right baby elliot hits the ice merkling He'll send it over to Ramsey, and they're going to set things up left circle. Oh, come on, Mark. Back to the other side. Easter's got the puck. Dave Easter, lieutenant out of station number one. Oh. Now they shoot and score. Is that Clayton Miller? I think it was. It's five to two. Six to one. Six to one. I, I hate to correct you, but I think it's six to one. <laughs> six to Man. one, yeah. What did I say? <laughs> You're trying to help the cops into this game. I am. 
It's six to one. You're trying like You're divine trying intervention and it's not working. So we'll listen to the call Our here. Department goal scored by number 17. <laughs> Assisted by 54 and 16 for the oh. fire department. So the goal is by Three Saber. Yep, the assists will go to Easter and Clayton, Clayton Miller. Miller. All right, Cisneros, let's go. That was an icing. So uh, despite all the friendly ribbing going on, both on the ice, well, some of it's not so friendly, <laughs> and up here in the booth, and it's a six to one, you know, run away by the fire department. The way I see it, it's a seven to zero. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, for, it's, a, it's a win for, for the first community. First responders versus, you know, bad guys oh, and fire. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a win for the Green County 100 Club. Exactly. Like we oh, talked yeah, about. Definitely. A complete win for Green County 100. That's why all these guys are out here playing hockey. Here we go. Here we go. Here come the Come on, Compton. Police. Compton oh, gets. Oh, he just got ahead of him. I will say, though, that the police have had some good possession and some good, good stick handling in here, and it's taking advantage of the opportunities for the fire that's given them a 6-1 lead. We'll go over the scores so we know that Nielsen has the hat trick. Keller shorthanded, Houston, Ramsey gets one for the PD, and then the other two were Nielsen's along with Grieshaber. And that's the score, 6-1 right now. So in order to, as we get a save here, in order for all these guys to attend this game tonight, they either had to actually have their shift not be tonight right. or they had to like trade with someone. Right. Yeah, find coverage. Yeah. I know there's a few guys on there that uh, like Cisneros and Merkling, Ramsey, Friend, they're, they're not working this weekend. So they already had it all. But a lot of these guys had to ask it all. And for us, it's an A shift. There, there's a couple A shift guys out there skating right now. Uh, Right now, Doyle, number 96, he's an A-shifter. What's uh, an A-shifter? So we go in three shifts, A-shift, B-shift, C-shift. That completes our 24, 48, okay. three days. So uh, today is an A-shift day, as we call it. Um, so like I said, there's some A-shift guys out there playing right now. So they either had to find coverage or miraculously have the day off by chance. Now. Is this a situation for both of you guys? I mean, in a regular job, you have HR, you have a manager, and you have to take PTO, or you have to approve your time off. Is this a situation where, as long as you go to one of your guys and say, hey, cover for me, oh, absolutely. it's good? Uh, yeah. You yeah, don't yeah. have to, like, really get it approved, per se? Right. No, it, yeah, exactly. Well, it doesn't get approved, per se, but if you're the same rank, um, somebody can just be there for you and you're yeah. off and i mean it's for a good it's for a good cause so they're going to work with you and yeah you yep. have to be off so you can play yep and i don't necessarily mean for tonight but i mean just in general if you need to take some time off you just say hey but i'll work for you this saturday if you work for me next monday or whatever yep. yeah so that's what we do so we bid our vacation what we call it uh, january or february and we basically pick our vacation for the whole year and you bid it by seniority. So if okay. you don't get a day. Isn't half of your shift on vacation though? I mean, really? No, oh, not you're half. you're most of it. Let's not get crazy, not <laughs> half. <laughs> Call it a quarter. <laughs> but if we need somebody to cover for us for a day that we can't get off, as long as they're the same rank as you, you can agree to like what you said. You work for me this day, I'll work for you that day. Is it a situation where uh, the way that the shifts work out will, you, will Somebody at least get a weekend off? Um, so we get a weekend off every like third week. We get a Saturday and Sunday off. So on the PD side. Oh, right out in front. Oh! oh PD goal. Kevin Grundy with the Grundy. Spin. Grundy. Fly boy Grundy. Now it is six to two. Now it is. Now it's six to two. <laughs> so on the PD side, if you're in patrol, Every other weekend, you have a three-day weekend, Friday, Saturday, okay. Sunday off. And if you're a detective, you're for investigations, pretty much every weekend you have off. Yeah, so we always work a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. 
unless us. there's like a like some investigation that you have to right. work to solve. Right. If there's a homicide that comes in or some kind of big big uh, case, then they might have to come in on the weekends. Scott Hill's one of those guys. He's a homicide detective. Police, my mistake. Police with a goal. Scored by number 61. 61 police. Assisted by 21 for the police department. 61. So 21 is Ramsey. But getting back to that, John. So and same with you, Brian. So bottom line is. Early in the year, you bid your vacations, and that's kind of where, okay, everyone knows you're going to be off right. kind of thing. Yep. And then you can make things happen to get an yeah, extra day. Yeah, if something comes up during the year and yeah, you need off, uh, they work with you and uh, do the best they can so you can go to wherever it is that you need to go to. I love watching Jimmy Ramsey go across the ice. He looks like he's just running, just floating on the air. Here comes Greasehaver again. And he's just like him. <laughs> yeah. He gets a drive off. Good save there. Wilson. Steals it and steer, steers it into the corner. He does. Down to 140 to go in this third period. It's been a fun one. Oh, Three saber yeah. drives one in there. That was a good slap. Baby Elliot's got the puck. Is Grandpa out there? Oh yeah, yeah Papa's out there. Here comes Papa here right comes here. Here comes Gramps. Yeah. Come on, here Doc. Comes the old man. Come Look on, at him. Doc. I will say, he's an old man, but he moves good. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to rough it up in there. He likes a good wrestling match. Corman's cure for everything is uh, Motrin. Yep. Motrin and change your socks. <laughs> change your socks. <laughs> so, uh, what, a goal every five seconds for the police department at this yep. point? <laughs> yeah. yeah, at this five. point. Okay, all right. You know 6-2 is the here's, worst here hit come in the, hockey. Here come the jokes. Here comes Ramsey. Oh, oh there's a collision. Awesome check. A little awesome bit of police check. on police crime oh going on out there. Meanwhile, well, here comes Nielsen. Could he score again? Oh, Nielsen oh. goes up with it. Four goals for Justin Nielsen. Well, Just well, walking well, in there. that player of the game, I think. Absolutely. It's 7-2. Look at that. It's not over. It's not over. Oh, we only, no. got, a, we only no. got to score five goals. <laughs> no, it's not over. Dielsen makes it seven to two. I mean, a goal every six seconds, and you're right back hey, in this game. There you go. You can we do just, it. We just need we every fireman to commit a penalty. Yeah. yeah. Goal for the fire department, four from 39. So it's Nielsen from, uh, what'd you call him? Papa? Oh, did, you see that? did you see that? Oh, Papa. Papa Wilson? That was a good save. And you said that was the fourth goal of the game? That, that was his fourth goal for Nielsen. I don't like that. That was the last save there, I believe. That I don't believe was the goal. With 18 seconds to go. Still 18 seconds. Oh, there they go. There's the clock. <laughs> oh. Icing here. Yeah. Well, that's that's the key, you know. If you score before time expires, you have more time. Even if the clock's not running. I mean, that's that's the key. <laughs> Tim Shaw has faced 19 shots. He came in at halfway mark for Zacher, who faced 21. Twelve seconds. Buck in the skates of Lauterbaugh. With four seconds to go. Last minute effort or last chance oh. is saved. I save. And that'll do it. That was a good game. That was a great game. Our final score. Is Said all that benefits a good cause, no matter what the outcome.
they just announced it, the winner there. That's what it's about. <laughs> winners, fans, listen up. Get your tickets out if you were involved. In so the 12 shots Here on Wilson. The Three period total of 40. For half of the 50 50 round. And just $73. Your ticket number four shots. Three, eight, five. Make that six shots total in the third period. So Zacher faced 21. And actually that was nine, not 19 shots that Tim Shaw faced for a total of 33. We had power plays, just five power plays for the guns. They were 0 for 5. The hoses did not get a power play. Goals, Nielsen at 642 of the first, shorthanded Keller at 743, then Houston at 1340 of the first, and that makes it a three nothing game. The PD gets a goal, Ramsey at 49 seconds of the second, Nixon for the fire department at 920, and then at 728, Nielsen, again, I think I said Nixon, it's Nielsen. He got his second and third. Grieshaber in the third at 10.50, and then at 12.14, Grundy gets a goal to make it 6-2. And then at 13.29, Nielsen, his fourth, 7-2 is the final. Well, let's get the guys back in here. John Stowe, the PD, and... Brian Fick of the fire department. Okay, guys, you did not know what you're going to experience here today. Uh, it, was, it was fun. It, it's funny because, John, you you, you, t you told me that you got roped into this somehow. I kind of did. Scott Hill on the PD side, he asked me he asked me to volunteer to do this, and uh, I said, why not? My wife has said, uh, what are you doing? So, no, it was a good time. I'm glad I did it. Absolutely, a lot of fun, and I, I'm, I'm glad I had you guys come up here and do some play-by-play. I mean, last week my voice was nil. <laughs> this week it's great right. because I don't have to talk as much thanks right. to you guys. Yeah, no, it so. was fun. It was a good game. It's for a good cause, and uh, they had a lot of fun. And even the guys that were fighting, I know that they'll they'll shake hands after it's all done. And they are actually shaking hands right now, as you yeah. can see. So they're they're having a lot of fun, and I know that you guys did too. And uh, I'm sure you guys are probably parched after after talking so much. So. <laughs> You might have to grab a little something. I'll wet my whistle after this. Appreciate yep. you having us. Absolutely. Thanks so much for doing this, guys. This is a lot of fun. Again, it's for the Club 100. And I'll let you guys kind of do a real quick advertisement. So if you know the number, like, John, if you know how somebody, they say, you know what, I, I'd like to be a police officer. What do I have to do? Go to GoSPD, GOSPD.com, and... That'll connect you to the recruiter's website, kind of show you all the requirements, uh, what you need to do to do the process, and uh, kind of answer all your questions, all your questions that you have there. GoSPD.com. Brian, how about you? Uh, same thing. If you go to SpringfieldMo.gov, click on the fire department there. Um, it'll lay out everything you need uh, to test for us when it's open. Give you all the prerequisites that you have to have. You meet those? And they're ac accepting applications for the fire department in June, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, it's January. We just closed up. Okay. So uh, our process just closed. It normally opens up uh, sometime the first week of January, maybe a little bit earlier than that in December. So once a year. PD is pretty much continuous. Yeah, see? <laughs> the cops know when the fire department's hiring. Let's just put it that so way. So is there not that much of a turnover in the fire department? Um, it, it's not, and I don't. And what I believe, there's not much in the PD either. Just to play fair just, uh, here, just retirements uh, just and we're things adding, like that. Yeah, we're at an age in, I'm sure, both um, departments where we're at an uh, where big classes are starting to retire. So we're knocking out big numbers. So, um, yeah. but they've got an academy. They've got an academy going now. They've got an academy yep. that just finished, and they're training. So. Yep. Uh, we'll be getting added numbers here shortly. Yep, and we're getting ready. Ours will start in May. Uh, our most recent, our newest academy will start in May. And they'll be in the academy for about roughly six months, and they'll be out on the streets on the fire department. So, But like I said, uh, end of December, beginning of January, start looking out for that, and you can apply to be a firefighter. 
sounds like cops, the police departments always, yeah, you know. Yeah, so we're, we do two academies a year. And we're so, just one. Yeah, so usually it's around January, February, and then sometime in the summer. Yep. Sounds like fun. All right, folks, and once again, John, the website? Go SPD, www.gospd.com. Brian? And ours is uh, springfieldmo.gov, or, you know, social media for Springfield Fire Department announces when our uh, process is open. Or just stop in, right? Yeah, or, yeah. Yeah, just stop by any of the stations. 874-2300. 864-1810. Yep. And All right. that'll get you at least started. Excellent. I like it. That sounds great. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, joining me with this. Oh. Again, John Stowe of the Police Department, Brian Fick of the Fire Department. Once again, uh, it has been a fun night here all for Club 100. Final score. Thanks for having us. Thank you for doing this. Final score is 7-2. to The fire department win their fourth straight over the police. Thank you, Thanks sir. So, thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks so much for joining us here at Jordan Valley Ice Park, Stan Melton Ice Arena. Again, the final score, 7-2 to for our cameraman, Eric Papuga for Scott Lutzke and Graphics, for John Stowe from the PD and for Brian Fick of the Fire Department. I'm Steve Casson. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you next time. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>